Everybody, welcome back to the Rebel Jump channel. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about buying secondhand lightsabers and some tips that might help you buying a lightsaber. So, um, first and foremost, uh, why would you buy a secondhand lightsaber? Well, a lot of times it has financial benefits. Secondly, um, it can have uh, benefits in terms of lightsabers that are not available by set saber company anymore. Um, it's just simply end of life, they don't make them anymore, or uh, it's maybe a custom lightsaber that um, you only could buy an empty hilt from and somebody did an installation for of it and um, it's all up to you to choose what uh, your preferences are. Now normally when I buy a secondhand lightsaber that is mainly because it's a lightsaber that's not longer being made by for example Saberforce or Fadis Fault or whatever, um, then I will buy a secondhand lightsaber. Um, or for example if I need a lightsaber and I want to for example have a brand new Sable Force Adapt and I want to have a second one and I see one for a good price second hand and instead of buying a brand new again uh, I get the second hand one and then I use that one for dueling or whatever whatever your personal preferences is but here are my tips regarding buying a second hand lightsaber because there's quite a few things you need to be careful of um, there are definitely quite a bit of scams happened and happening with custom lightsabers people having paid a lot of money for a saber that never arrived never was shipped uh, non-existing or people doing um, all kinds of stuff and uh, basically send you a broken lightsaber or it's just not working properly and um, you want to send it back for repairs and it cannot be repaired because the person is not accepting it Whatever the case might be, you need to be very vigilant and careful and do your research before you buy a secondhand product, especially a lightsaber. So what I do as a tip, uh, hopefully that's going to help you, is I go always to the established Facebook groups. I only buy from those groups because I know most people in those groups are basically lightsaber fans. They're the more seasoned lightsaber fanatics. Um, they're often in these groups and if you see them posting a lot you know them at some point by name and the, the, the Facebook page etc and they build up a relation and an, a reputation. So if that person sells more often lightsabers and uh, at some point people will get feedbacks. If it's positive it's fast positive. If it's negative everybody in the community gets to hear it so it's a very good indicator so I normally only purchase the lightsabers to the elite lightsaber uh, group or the uh, the lightsabers club or the vault, uh, the vault group uh, for example then I know okay that is a legitimate person um, I'm gonna buy this lightsaber and then what I want to secondly do is make very very good agreements so make sure step by step you did not mess anything uh, you did not miss anything during the, the agreement so okay I'm gonna buy this lightsaber make some pictures of it show it functional make some pictures with a lightsaber on can you show me a video with the sound turn it off turn it on um, can you show me if there's any scratches or dents that I should know of before I purchase it is there a known issue with the lightsaber that I should be aware of uh, these kind of things or if it's installed by somebody aftermarket like it's in the hilt from Sabre Force but somebody else did the installation ask who did the installation okay you don't know can you open the pommel and show me a little bit as far as you can see the battery set up the like you can see a little bit if it's a rat nest if it's very messy if that's something you want to purchase into and if the people have uh, the person selling have no idea where the saber came from and who did the installation and whatnot that sometimes can be a red flag because you're not sure what you're gonna buy into so um, I would say in those cases be more cautious it's better to be safe than buy into a lightsaber that probably mm, potentially had like bad electronic installs or whatever don't get um, discouraged by that so make sure you make good agreements you have a you have a good understanding what you're gonna buy and then when you're gonna do the payment do it through PayPal for example don't send it as friends and uh, uh, services um, because if you do it under friends and services I believe or friends and family if you do the payment like that you PayPal is not gonna help you because they say oh that's that that is family friends we, we not we have not help you recovering those uh, funds that you sent you need to figure out with that person if you do that service and goods 
then yes, you can file a PayPal claim if there's something is wrong. Doesn't guarantee you're gonna get back your money, but surely it's gonna help you more than doing it under friends and family. And also, as I said, be vigilant. Make sure you know the person, or at least know that that person is active in the groups. If you just joined the Facebook groups and nobody really know about that person, that also can be a flag because it might be somebody that just want to make a quick buck and scam somebody. Um, so you need to be very careful. Um, what I also would do is, um, as I said, get all the information about the lightsaber, get a good agreement about the price. And um, if you want to, you can, for example, say, um, well, I'm gonna pay the first installment of the, the, the price, for example, and I pay the last 30, 40% after I receive the saver. Uh, for example, if the, if the seller is in, in trusting you to do so, of course, uh, because that's also a mutual thing. But um, hopefully that's gonna help you a little bit with buying a lightsaber. Um, it's fantastic, it's really good to do, as I said. Um, but you need to be very careful there's 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 stuff going on and it doesn't always end very good for the buyer so be aware what you're doing and if it's on about really high amounts of money um, get second opinions about that person ask hey do you know that person do you have a reference for me did you sell lightsabers before can I ask that other person how it was etc or ask him in the forums like um, if you see a post somebody's selling a lightsaber and post hey um, guys, I want to buy this lightsaber from him, but I, I don't know this person did ever anybody deal with this person before And if nobody responds and nobody say nah, I, I, I Nobody really bought anything from that person um, Maybe an indication would be to see how long that person is a member of the Facebook group uh, Try to Google if some hits come up under that person's name like uh, J Jeff uh, Jeff sold his lightsaber in 2008 and he scanned me out of my lightsaber or whatever so you can also do some research on Google about that profile uh, on Facebook or whatnot and see if that uh, there's some hits regarding scams or not it's not always gonna help but uh, everything that that you might think that uh, can help is, is always good to do a little bit of research especially can be a lot of money going into a second-hand lightsaber even though it's second-hand doesn't mean it's always very cheap so um, anyway hopefully uh, that helped you a little bit in deciding uh, buying second-hand lightsabers and follow those tips um, if you like the video make sure to like and subscribe and share the video with all your friends and uh, see you next video bye bye